Hi everybody. I hope that you enjoy this next video. So this was a tough one for me. It's very personal and it talks a little bit about my experience with depression. I would say that when I turned about 40, I suddenly began to experience these uh, debilitating bouts of depression that just seemed to come out of nowhere. Um, it wasn't that life was perfect by any means, but uh, it was just an overwhelming sense of despair about the world, about um, my place in the world. Um, and even though I am a Christian, as some of you know, I felt it very hard to pray and trust God during those times. So I did continue to press in to him and continue to pray and continue to read the word and to, to talk to a few people that, you know, I was close to. And eventually I discovered the things that triggered the depression and how to avoid them. And also, I believe through the Holy Spirit to gain back some sort of control over my emotional state. So I am not cured, but I do believe that I am on the path of healing, and I hope that this little clip about my journey also helps you if you're going through something similar, and I hope that it brings encouragement to you that with God, all things are possible. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to use some imagery here to try to describe what depression looked like and felt like for me. So please excuse the cartoon stuff. It's not meant to glamorize this debilitating experience, but I want to use it as an illustration. There's a verse in Psalms 40, verse 2. He lifted me up from the pit of despair. Out of the miry clay, he set my feet upon a rock. That verse resonates with me because depression for me felt exactly like being caught and submerged in the miry clay. Just talking about it is disheartening, but I'm going to keep going. I started to have bouts of inexplicable dread, sadness, despair when, as I mentioned, I was about 40. I can't really put a finger on a cause or a source for these feelings. I read somewhere that it isn't unusual for women to suffer from depression in their middle years. They reflect on past mistakes, missed opportunities, disappointments, etc. I had all of that. And in addition, some inexplicable bouts of terror about the state of the world and imagining every torture and criminal act that could be perpetrated against my family. And up to this point, I had been a pretty optimistic person with a can-do attitude. So I had no defense against this attack, no weapons, no coping mechanism for this. As you can imagine, I prayed like crazy to be delivered from these negative emotions. And the Holy Spirit revealed to me that, in my case, these bouts of depression were really a spiritual attack by the enemy. For other people, there may be mental, chemical, or other valid reasons that they go through this experience. I think of my depression as times where I sink so deep, it's like I'm underwater. I sink beneath the sea, and then beneath the sea floor and I'm covered up by the sand and the rocks and the clay until I'm fully immobile. There's no breath there, just paralysis and despair. And I think if I can just move my arm through the layers of earth above me, just enough to touch water again, God will reach down and pull me out of the depths. But I don't even have the strength to lift my hand. As I prayed, I admitted to God that I didn't have the power to deliver myself, so I asked Him to take it away. I didn't have an instant cure, as I mentioned, but I committed my problem to the Lord. The Holy Spirit started making me become aware of the things that triggered these bouts of depression. I began to recognize changes in my mood that would signal the spiral downwards, and I would tell my partner, instead of trying to deal with it all in my own head. I focused my mind on things that were lovely, of good report, that were noble, things that were righteous. And Philippians 4.8, which you may have seen in my Welcome to the Channel video, 
is now my life philosophy. I focus less on the bad news of the day. I ask God to take captive every negative thought that would seek to invade and influence my mood. I create, I write, I paint or craft, spend time with my family, go out, do things that I enjoy. I try to say no to too many projects because they exhaust me and that's a trigger too. I haven't done so well in saying no to people though. <laughs> About a year after I asked the Lord to deliver me out of the miry clay of depression, I realized one day that I had not had a bad episode in months. And it's now been years since I've had a serious episode. I do have down moments, they still come, but I'm not overwhelmed. I like to say that praise is now my default mode. God has delivered me and given me strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. And I am so grateful as I turn my eyes and I focus on his glorious light. I do hope that this encourages you and I want you to know that the Lord loves you and wants to save you. You just need to ask him. Thank you for listening.